Hey guys, welcome back to Evolving Mail. So today I've got something new to show you and what I've got might change your life and that is a new key fob. And you'll see that I did the key fob right here in Army colors because go Army. Stay tuned, here it comes. I'm not, I'm not there right now. Okay guys, so I have a package from Freedom. This is a guy that um, was talking about it on the um, Gladiator forum and I ordered this. This was not cheap. This was like $45. I ordered it some time ago and it is a 3D printed. Maybe I can get it open. I bought this just to do a review for you guys. It is a 3D printed key fob replacement. So it's going to take this key fob and we're going to fit the guts in this. It even comes with tools. We're going to fit the guts in this into something this big. So there you go. We are going to take the size down. Overall I'd say the size is going to go down to about um, it's going to go down to about two-thirds of the size. And it doesn't have a thing. It clicks open. It has some buttons. There's some 3D printed buttons. You can see the buttons. It's like a hard plastic helps 3D print. This is the first known thing to me that is 3D printed. So we're going to comes with a little sticker. There's instructions right there, but I don't really feel like I need the instructions. So I'm going to The first thing I'm going to do is open the garage. I'm sweating it out. I'm trying to back, pop the back of this off. There you go. Pop the back of that off. And this just comes open like that. So here we have some screws. It comes with one screw for that. We have some screws in here. So we're going to take these screws off. Take that off. And we'll take this one off. So we worked on this for quite some time. I'd say it was in research and development. Look, looked to be about six months or so. This is what this company does for a living, but I don't think they make key fobs. They did, I think he just started key fobs as an offshoot of his business. I don't even know if he owns a business, to be honest. I think he's part of it. And saw a need. And decided to try to meet that need. Last one out right here. There you go. So now looks like this might really don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's pop off the top the front. Careful, there's a spring in there. I don't want to lose that. Okay. So there's a spring right in there. Put that back together like that. And there is there's a little pin right there 
and you push that pin out and they give you a little it's a little key to the top and it has a little jeep if you can see that it's like a little jeep on it it's cute i'll have to research how to get that pin out i'm not really sure how the hell that comes out <clears throat> interesting we'll do that later so we are going to disassemble Pull this board off ever so gently. Pull the battery out. And you can see that there's two buttons there and two buttons there, so I need to take the battery. I think it goes that way. We're going to slide this battery. like that. Slide the battery up in there, just like that. Just like that. There it is. This is not a waterproof rendition, so you do have to be careful. And we're going to put this over the top. Let me see if it works real quick. I got this pretty much together. It worked. Did you hear it? So the Jeep works. So we're going to slide this back. Down. We're going to slide this together, just like that. And put the one screw in there. Now they made this thing so you could put a key ring. It would have been nice if they gave me the key ring. That's kind of weird, like, so you can put the Jeep key on this, and then you can attach it to the key ring. This was like $5 more. So you can attach this to that with the key ring, but, if you want to. But it would have been nice if they gave you the key ring, but they didn't, so, whatever. So anyway, I'm going to put this back together so that I don't lose it. Oh, i to put the... Goes on. How the hell did I take this off? All right, goes in there like that. So if I want to sell, if I ever go to sell the Jeep, which I'm sure I will someday, I can always return this to stock configuration, as it were. Put that in there. I do need to put. The screws back in. Take that off. Put this back together. Throw these screws back in. Is a little something right here that came from something I don't know I'm gonna throw it in there I can figure it out later when the day comes it may have been from something else but it looked like it was from this so let me just throw this back together It's hard to see without me without me glasses on. Okay, so we got the old key together with sans the goodies and the key. That's back together so we can always go back if we want to. All the parts are in there and we have the key and I can even remote start it.
doesn't open up in your pocket. It's nice and small. You can take it with you. That's it, guys. I'm going to figure out how to get this little thing apart, and we'll go with that next. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I've got a really, really tiny screwdriver. Um, the website recommends maybe a um, thumbtack, but there's a tiny little hole with a roll, little tiny roll pin in there. I'm going to stick this little tiny screwdriver or your thumbtack or whatever into this hole and just push. Maybe. Popped out, so you can see. Can you see the little pin? It's so tiny I can't even pick it up with my hand. Little tiny roll pin. Let's got that off. I'm going to take this piece right here and I'm going to pull. Just gonna kind of grab it. Maybe. Just kind of separate it, pulls it off. These are two pieces. I'm going to take the little Jeep, little Jeep thing. I'm going to put this. There's a little notch right there. See a little notch? Let's see. Can you see? It's very hard to get on camera. There's a little notch and it matches up with a hole on that. So I'm going to put that together and that notch will go, the pin will go in that. Maybe. Just push it down. Hold, hold that hole up to the light. You can see, you can see through it, right? You see through it. There. I'm going to take this roll pin. I'm going to stick the roll pin in the hole. Just try to get it in there so it'll stay upright. Arg. I have no nails. This is this is this is worse than the putting a key pop together. No, it's really not. It's really neither one were bad, but just slightly aggravating because I my hands are too big. So if you have little girly hands or your girl, this may be easier for you. Flip it over and try it that way. Okay, so I got it kind of ever so slightly balancing and I'm just gonna drop it just like that and try it again damn it's really difficult to get this started because my fingers are just too damn big. A little bit of grease. Just a little bit of grease. Put a little bit of grease right there. Now I'm going to try to get this on the hole, and hopefully the grease will hold it. There you go. A little bit of grease, and it's holding it. Now I'm going to just screw it up.
guys, have you seen me cry on camera yet? Because this may be the time. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Camera time. Thought maybe I could smack it quick enough. There's all my tools falling out of my bag. This is highly effing aggravating. aggravating. Son of a bitch, man. Damn. <laughs> Everything's starting to piss me off right now. Got it with a hammer. Look at that. And now I'm just going to press it in the rest of the way. Holy crap. That was a pain in the ass. Okay. So now I'm going to wipe the grease off of it. And I've got a key ring. I'm going to put a key ring on it. Key ring on that. Key ring on this. And I may not leave that on there. I probably won't leave it on there because, I mean, now I'm back to... At least it doesn't pop open, but I'm back to kind of big anyway. But I'll probably take this little key ring and put it inside the Jeep somewhere and just, you know, be done with it. But overall, works pretty good. By 3D printing. I'll leave the link below. These are um, local Jeep lovers, so support them, guys. Support them. And um, I was skeptical at first, but I figured I would support them. I'm going to put all the parts back in here. Here's all the stuff that came with it right in there. I'm going to double bag it. And that's it. That's everything, guys. Thanks for checking me out. As always, hit like and subscribe, and peace out. Okay guys, so just a final note. Um, you have all the same buttons that you would have on a fully uh, fully dressed out key fob. I would say the only difference is, is when it's in my pocket, um, it's weird, I just put it in my left pocket and when I walked up, it, it activated the um, proximity sensor right away. So there you go, I'm gonna walk up and Ah, I didn't do it. Huh? And it was pretty quick, but for whatever reason, for whatever reason, oddly enough, when I put it in my right pocket and I walk up, it's almost like I got to lift my leg. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So that is kind of weird. It's not quite as fast. And then the only other thing, the hard plastic is a little bit harder to to mush down on the button here. Like I'm going to press the button and I got to got to really press it down. But other than that, the thing works great. I still got the key key attached because I really haven't driven the Jeep a whole lot here lately. I've been trying to save some miles on it, but it works really good. Um, if you just want, if you want something smaller, you can even do. They have ones with less buttons if you don't have all these buttons, so you don't have to buy one that has all the buttons. Um, that you don't that you don't have like so in other words this has proximity or proximity whatever and then it has start um and all that crap so you don't have to have it you can buy it with just the two buttons i think you can get it with just the three buttons and you can even get one with no buttons so if you just don't want buttons and you just want to be able to walk up and proximity uh proximity open up your your uh, work that good that time open it up 
you know, then, then that's fine. That's what, that's what you can get. So they have a lot of options and um, you can choose which one is best for But for right now, this one is best for me and go army. And thanks guys for checking me out. As always, I appreciate it and peace out.